Hey guys, in this video, I want to share with you exactly how I go through my demo presentation to sign up clients even if you have no results. I've used the same demonstration even though I have case studies. I didn't show my case study and still was able to close this client, uh, many clients actually, and I did it because of the way I did this presentation. I'm going to do a live walkthrough of exactly what I would say to the customer, what I show them. So at the end of the end of the presentation end of the meeting they say how much does it cost and when can we get started let's jump into it hey guys my name is Sook Baines and I run a social media marketing agency here in Vancouver BC and on this channel we help social media marketers like yourself make more money so if you're new here make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on for future videos on social media marketing agency owners i know one of the biggest problems when we are you know about to start an agency and about to sign up some new clients and even get our first meeting we're a little bit scared of hey what should i say to this person is he even going to trust me i have no results all these you know fears go into our head but in this video, I'm going to share with you step-by-step -step process of what you can show your customer and how you can present yourself so by the end of the meeting, they trust you and they know that you can actually deliver the results that you're saying that you can deliver. Um, and I'm going to, you know, go through my presentation. I'm going to, you know, open up all the tabs, everything of exactly what I show my clients. And this is a big thing because you cannot close a client, especially with like, you know, social media marketing, Facebook advertising, Instagram ad advertising. You can't close a client just on the phone call, especially if they're a cold audience, they never heard of you before. You have to have to hop on a screen share call where you and the client will be on a screen share, you share your screen and you walk them through exactly what you will be building for them. Because that is the secret. If you build it together, then they feel like okay this is gonna work because you know they had something to do with it you know that and i'm, I'm actually gonna go through the presentation and you understand exactly what i'm saying but you want to make sure you are showing the customer exactly what you are going to be building um and that way they are they're in there watching you exactly what you will be doing so then they can make sense of this actually working for them let's see let's get into it so here I have some slides that I have, you know, that I made up for my clients and show them some of the things that I want to have a visual represent representation of. Um, so, you know, we first show them that, hey, this is our timeline here. You know, we'll know exactly, you know, today we're on this demo call. If everything works out, we'll start building your system. It takes around three to four businesses to build everything out. And on the fourth, fifth business day, we will, you know, have a launch call, show you everything we built. And if, if everything looks good, we'll go live. So I have, you know, slides here. I kind of have a few case studies from the from before, but I actually don't even show these slides here. Um, I just go straight into the system here. So what you want to do is you kind of want to build a campaign slash with me. Like, yeah, like you want to kind of build a campaign and build a whatever you're going to be doing for them with them. So let me explain here. So first I kind of go into, you know, why is it important for you to advertise? So I, you know, I showed them that, hey, I saw that you're not advertising. You know, I looked at your Facebook profile, but it looks like you're not advertising. But over here, other clients, you know, I tell them that this is my client, but if you don't have clients, you can say other people, other dentists or other chiropractors or other fitness people, whoever you're talking to, they're actively advertising. So, you know, you show them that they're advertising, you can go on Facebook as manager. So this is the comparison. So if you're doing social media marketing or any other different kind of marketing, you want to show a comparison of, hey, this is what this person is doing. And, um, you know, this is what you're not doing. So then they have the little bit of a comparison like, hey, you know, that person is in the same industry and they're doing that thing. And it might be because it's actually working and, you know, actually getting them clients. So there's a little bit of a comparison there. And also, um, you know, I, I compare their profiles to, you know, my client profiles and then, you know, tell them that, you know, they're posting these kind of pictures. It looks nice, blah, blah, blah. It makes it look professional. Um, rather than you not posting any pictures, you know, it's kind of, you know, 
doesn't look as professional. So I do a little bit of that comparison. So then, you know, where I do Facebook and Instagram ads for clients, and then I go actually into my ads manager and show them exactly how we will be building this campaign. So I say, hey, Mr. Customer, you see my screen here? Right now we're on the Facebook ads manager. Have you ever been here? They say, no, I haven't, or yes, I've seen it before. Awesome, so over here, you know, we're gonna show you how we can target the exact people that we are looking for um, that are looking for your services here. Does that make sense, Mr. Customer? You know, they say, Mr. You know, they say, makes sense. And then I go into my process. So then, you know, like I said, you know, we want to make this campaign with them. So I already have an example campaign built, but I asked some questions because I want you to remember this other thing. You know, this is a questionnaire. This is not a sales pitch. You're always going to be asking questions. Even, you know, you can watch another video on my YouTube channel of how to do a sales presentation. It's all about asking questions. You know, um, what's the reason you booked the call with me here today? Okay, awesome. What have you tried in the past? Okay, what worked the best? Cool. What do you think, um, you know, what promotions did you do that worked the best? Okay, well, how many patients are you getting per month right now? Mm -hmm. So how many patients would you like to get per month? No, I would like to get 50 more patients. Okay, awesome. Why would you like to get 50 more patients? Well, you know, in order for my clinic to grow and survive the next year, I need more 50, 50 more patients. Okay, awesome. Would you like me to show you how to get 50 more patients? Cool. Let me share my screen. And then I share my screen and go through this process that I'm about to show you here. So it's all a questionnaire. Even here, you know, all my ads manager, I start asking, okay, Mr. Customer, what's your address? Okay, this is your address. So you can see my screen still. Yes, I can still see your screen. So over here, we're telling Facebook that we are going to be advertising in this area right here. You told me your address and we're going to put a five mile radius around this. Does that make sense, Mr. Customer? Yes, it makes sense. So Mr. Customer, what's the age group that most of your clients, um, you know, are and most of the clients that are coming in for the service? So for example, I'm going to give you guys an example for, you know, dentist, you know, Invisalign. So I asked my customer, my client, hey, Mr. Client, um, you know, what's the average age group of the people that are going to come in for Invisalign? So they tell me, ah, you know, it's anywhere from, you know, 25 to 30, 20 to 55, whatever the case is. Then I actually go in here, edit it, 20 to 55. Okay, cool, Mr. Customer. And who are the people most likely to come in for that service? Is it woman or is it male? Uh, woman or, you know, is it, you know, female or male? Um, then they say, yeah, you know what? Most of the people that come in is going to be women. Okay, awesome. So it's going to be women here. And, you know, who are who do you think will be most interested in these kind of services, like Invisalign, making them look nice? Who do you think that will be? Oh, you know, some girls that are interested in looking nice, you know, interested in beauty, uh, you know, you know, girls that are, like to take care of themselves and start, you know, want to look good. Okay, awesome, Mr. Customer. So did you know we can actually target those people that are interested in beauty, are interested in personal care, that are interested in having a nice smile? You know, you were able to target those exact people. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you see what we're doing here? We're literally, you know, rather than us telling them what we're gonna be doing, we're asking questions and we're having a conversation and we're having, you know, we're building the, campaign with them and when we do this the psycho like the psychologic part of this is the customer has a part in this they kind of help you make this campaign and if they help you make this campaign then they feel like hey this might be actually this might actually work because you know it's it's just a psychological thing like hey i did this with him i think th this is something that may work with us for us so when you do that and when you make it with the customer, then they have the idea of, hey, you know, uh, like whatever this he said and whatever we just did actually makes sense. We're actually able to target the exact location. We're able to find the exact age group. We're able to target the woman and we're able to target people that are interested in a smile. That's pretty cool. So then, you know, we say, okay, awesome, Mr. Castro. So now that we have the right people in front of us, we've got to put the right kind of message in order for them to actually take action on our advertisement and, you know, give us the information. So this is something that, uh, that it looks like. So I show them the advertisement and everything. Then I ask them, hey, what promotion or what, you know, coupon, whatever promotion, special offer have you run in the past that worked really well? So they'll tell me, you know, we've done, you know, 
uh, new patient exam or, you know, um, Invisalign consultation and all that. Okay, awesome, Mr. Customer. So that's something that we can offer here. In addition to that, this is something that we, you know, we can add on top to make it even better. So you want to kind of show your expertise a little bit and ask them questions so you can, you know, take their ideas and put it into your ideas and make it together. So it feels like, okay, you know what? Um, first of all, you're, you're listening to them. You know, they're, they're going to appreciate the fact that you're actually listening to them. If they tell you, Hey, we do this kind of promotion and work really well. Awesome. Mr. Customer, we're going to use that as a promotion. And we'll also add a few other things. So we have people come in right away and take action. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense for sure. And then we, you know, show them the ad They like, came, hey, Mr. Customer, you know, have you, you know, this is exactly what your ad will look like. So if someone is cr scrolling on Facebook and Instagram, this is what I will look on the Facebook feed. Um, and then this is what I will look on your Instagram feed. Um, and yeah, this is what it will look like. Does that make sense? Yes, that makes sense. So you see what we did here? We literally just built out the whole campaign with them and showed them exactly what it looks like. For you to explain this on a phone call is almost impossible. So you have to have a screen share and show them exactly what you were building for them. So then we say, hey, Mr. Customer, so when someone clicks this, clicks this learn more button on Facebook or Instagram, we take them to a landing page where we start collecting the information. So um, over here, this is a landing page that we have that we'll build for you. So, you know, you can have an example landing page built for them or an example a marketing plan, whatever you're thinking of doing for them, have it already built out so you can walk them through it. So over here we say, you know, this is a, this is a landing page that we will build for you. So over here, the same kind of offer that we just discussed on an ad will be here. Um, and you know, they can only do one thing here, which is give us the name, email, phone number. And that's the main thing that we need, you know, getting the name, email, phone number. So we kind of tell them a little bit about this. So you can also ask questions about this on here as well. So you can say, Hey, Mr. Customer, you know, on average, how many bookings do you get on your you know, website? Well, you know, I probably get one to two bookings. Okay, Mr. Customer. So the reason you're only getting one to two bookings on this is because there's a lot of distractions here, but on this landing page, there are not a lot of distractions. They can only do one thing, which is give us the name, email, phone number. So these landing pages have 20% conversion rate of people actually coming in here and giving us the name, email, phone number. Sound pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's actually really good. Okay, awesome. So then when they actually go ahead and give us the information, they go onto the thank you page. So the thank you page looks like this, where they actually go in and, you know, give us their, actually get a, get them to actually give us a call right away because of the incentive that we're giving here. Does that make sense, Mr. Customer? Yes, it makes sense. So you see what we did here the whole time. I'm just showcasing, I'm building the campaign with them, showing them what we will be doing for them. So they have a clear understanding of exactly how the campaign is working. And, you know, sometimes clients will be like, you know, this might or might not work. So you'll have some of those clients, but there'll be a majority of the clients that will say, hey, this potentially can work. It does make sense. So I think it's good to actually give it a shot. You know, that's the kind of response that you want to aim for that. Hey, you know what? I think they will, this will work. So we show them that. Um, and then we also show them like, you know, if you have a results, show them results. Of course, if you don't tell them that this is exactly what we would like to build for you. Um, and then I also have like slides on, you know, exactly what we'd be doing, you know, so then we're building a little bit of value. We say that, Hey, you know, we'll be posting those kind of advertisements. We also have a course. We'll give you every, all the scripts and everything. We also have the automation where we'll send them emails and text messages. And we have a money back guarantee where, you know, we'll get you at least, you know, five new Invisalign cl clients or five new fitness clients, whatever your niche is, at least these main clients or you'll, we'll give you money back. So this, is, this can be a little bit risky on your end, especially if you're not confident enough of delivering. But if you have the confidence of actually delivering and you know you'll be able to get the client results, then you can offer that money back guarantee there as well. So then I go into pricing and I show them exactly what I'll be doing and all those different things. And I'm going to show you a slide that is a game changer of a slide that you can have in your presentation. Um, it's really cool. So I'm going to, I, I usually don't share this stuff on my YouTube channel, but you know, I'm going to share this with you. So over here, um, you know, when our, we've shown the customer everything, we 
we ask them two questions before we get to that slide. We ask them, hey, Mr. Customer, do you think I understand some of the issues you were having in your business right now? Um, do you think I understand that part? They will be like, yeah, I think you, you have a good understanding. Cool, Mr. Customer. Do you think I have the skills to solve those issues that you're having and actually get you to 10 to 15 new patients every single month like you told me? And they'll say, you know, I think you can, or um, from what it looks like, I'm pretty sure you can, or yeah, 100%, you will. Awesome, Mr. Customer. So there's two options moving forward for you. The first option we have is it's going to be $4,000 per month plus $800 ad spend that goes directly to Facebook. And then we have a one-time setup fee of $500. So then I wait a little bit, you know, quick two, three seconds. Or your second option is if we get started right now, then it's just $19.97 per month plus $800 ad spend that goes directly to Facebook. And they'll waive that $500 setup fee. And you also get the Google review campaign, the professional photo shoot, and all the things that we talked about in there as well. Which one sounds the best for you? Shh. You do not want to talk after this. Once you told them the price, you do not want to say a word. Unless they ask you a question, of course, you want to answer a question. But after you told them the price, you just want to shut up and don't say anything. Literally, don't say anything. And they'll think about it. Like I've, I've stayed on a call where the client did not talk for a minute, a full minute of silence, and I did not say anything because I don't need to, you know, I already told them the price. Now it's for them to actually say, if you like, this is a, a confidence game. If you are in here and you tell them the pricing, you know, if you guys started right now, it's just 1997. I, you know, I know that's a lot, but you know, trust me, you're going to get results. If you, if you kind of give them that kind of energy, they will mirror that energy. If you speak to them that 1997 is nothing, they will mirror, almost try to mirror that energy that you're giving them. So if you say, if we get started right now, it's only 1997 per month plus $800 ad spend, you know, which is pretty less. And we only, and we're going to waive the $500 setup fee, you know, it's a little bit different, you know, it, unless if I said something like, Hey, you know, it's, you, if you get started right now, then, you know, we're only going to charge you 1997 per month. You know, I know that can be a little bit too much, but you know, trust me, this is actually going to work. Um, and then we will do an $800 ad spend. If 800 is too much, you know, we can do 500. You don't want to do that. You don't want to start justifying your price. You just want to tell them the price, say it with confidence and don't say anything after that until they have a question or they say, you know, I'll think about it. Then you, you, you go into objection handling, but you want to present the price. You know, if you got anything from this meeting is when you are telling and showing your pitch, say it with confidence because your confidence will be mirrored by the other person on the other call. If you are not confident, the other person will know you are not confident. This does take a little bit of practice. So it's better to practice off field than just being on the call practice without them. Anyone being the call, just practice it with the partner, whatever the case is. So, um, you know, that's exactly how I bring them through the demo presentation. You know, I show them exactly what we'll be doing. They have a good understanding of the system. And at the end, I make my pitch. People say, yes, you know, I, I, I literally closed a client, um, you know, last month with no case study. I just started in a new niche. I showed them nothing. I just showed them exactly what we were building for them. He said, it makes sense. I gave him, I sent him the contract. He signed the contract and now he's a client second month coming on. So this is exactly what you guys can use as for your demo presentation here. I gave you guys some of my slides here. This is one of the most powerful slides that you can take away. Um, and as a thank you and appreciation, what you can do is subscribe and like this video. Um, let's go back to the other camera now. Awesome guys. So that is exactly how you do a demo presentation and try to close that client, you know, um, without having any case study, any social proof. If it does come down to it where, you know, the client just says, Hey, I don't know. I, 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 I like, I, I would love to do this, but you've never done this before. So I don't know if it's going to work. Then try to offer a free trial. I recently did a free trial, um, you know, for a dentist did a month for free. They got the results. They were happy. Second month we signed up. We actually signed a three month contract now. So, you know, that that's if you're not able to close a client, the last thing you can do is do the free trial. And it's a win win for both. 
you you don't have any you know experience you don't have any case studies the client you know is willing to take the risk rather than him running the ads or him doing the social media I'd rather have someone that kind of understands what he's doing so it's a win-win for both you gain your experience the customer can you know potentially get more clients so try with the try to go with the free trial um, if you're not able to close that client with all the things that I just showed you here Awesome guys, so that is exactly how you close a client using this demo presentation. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and subscribe for more videos on social media marketing and I will see you on the next one.